YouTubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, it's Vlog Thursday, and Psychic Bob been busy doing readings all morning. But we're going to go out and be on the town, so why don't you come on along? You walked into the party like you were walking onto a yacht. Your head strategically dipped below one eye. Your scarf, it was apricot. You had one eye on the mirror as you watched yourself go by And all the girls dreamed that they'd be your partner, they'd be your partner And you're so vain You probably think the song is about you You're so vain You probably think the song is about you Don't you, don't you Okay, that probably was not Psyche Bob's best song to sing, but hey, we're having fun anyways. <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys are here, and you know, we gotta we gotta do a quick fashion check before we head out into the public. So, you know, I got on my cool shades. You know, I love to wear black. I got on my black t-shirt. I got on my mystical cross of Caravaca. Ooh, you gotta check that out. And black jeans. Sega Bob's a styling and profile. Let's do a shot, long shot here. All right, and I'm carrying my Christian Dior bag today. So I think we're ready to go see and be seen. I gotta find a good song. You guys tell me, what do you think a good song is that Psyche Bob could sing that I'd actually be able to carry well? You know, some songs are harder to sing than others. Anyways, I, I love that Carly Simon song that was called You're So Vain, but I don't think it's my best song, but I had fun trying. You know, you know, say goodbye. We're going to be trying to get on American Idol. Look out, girl, or America's Got Talent. And if America don't want me, I'll pop over to England and try out for a Britain's Got Talent. We're going to find a way to break through yet. <laughs> Anyways, come on, guys. Let's go have some fun today. You know, despite the craziness of the day, I think I'm actually having a good hair day. What do you think? <laughs> of course, we're going to go out. You know, I don't know if I should have brought my umbrella. It looks like it might rain. Hmm. Well, we'll get out here and check it out. You know, I tell you, it's the strangest thing. I see all over my neighborhood these little scooters. This is the new thing that Uber's doing. You can go and get on their app, and you can get a scooter, and then you rent it, and you go where you want, and then you just leave it there. And I guess it has like a microchip so they can track it. You pay for like an hour or two hours, however long you want to use it. And, and then you just leave it in public. And like all over my neighborhood, these bikes are set. When I first saw it, I thought, what is that? You know, I thought that was kind of strange, but... Anyways, there you go. Have you guys heard about this? Anyways, we're out on the street. It's looking kind of overcast here. There's some blue over that direction. But I think a storm might be brewing. But it's certainly cooler today. You know, yesterday we had record temperatures here in Washington. It was about 100 degrees in October. I mean, can you believe that? For those of you in the D.C. area, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Say goodbye, I've been doing readings all morning. I had a great time. I love all my clients. Thank you to all you've been calling for private sessions. If you want to get on my schedule for reading, give me a call. 703-825-3929 is my phone number. I'd love to hear from you. You know, I suspect we're going to have a cold snap come up on us soon. It's literally been like summer, even into October here, which is kind of strange because at this time of year in my area, it should be definitely jacket weather. But I'm still wearing summer clothes. And I know it's gonna, I'm gonna get up one day and there'll be frost all over everything, just like overnight. I'm looking at the trees, even they're not really turning as rapidly as they should. At this time, they should be a lot more, you know, vibrant color, oranges and reds and golds, but they're staying green. Maybe global warming's true, huh? I don't know, sure seems like it. Oh, it's great walking. It's a lot less humid and there's a cool air going and for that I am thankful. You know, this morning I was watching Shirley MacLaine on YouTube in an interview with her and she was saying, you know, they're asking about her life and she said, you know, I've discovered that life is a performance. We're all performance, not just actors. Everybody's performing a role. And she said, you know, if you understand life from that perspective, she said it gets a lot more fun because it becomes an adventure. 
we're all performers. So kind of like she said, what is your role? What is your performance in your life going to be? I really like that, you know? It's got me thinking about stuff, you know? I tell you, we got a beautiful day out here, walking near the water. It's just lovely. Shirley McLean is an amazing person. I'm a big fan of her. I read all of her books. Um, you know, I just think she's a profound thinker. She's certainly got a lot more depth to her than a lot of what is coming out of Hollywood these days, in my humble opinion. Anyways, Sick Bob's getting hungry. We got to go get something to eat. We're going to cut through the park here. And I'm so lucky because I can walk through the park to get wherever I want to go, at least in my local area. So it's nice. The city of Alexander is very diligent. They put uh, cleaning crews here. They're always cleaning the park, the sidewalks. They keep it really nice here. And so I'm really thankful that you can see how beautiful it is down through here. Oh, we have to stop and visit this rock. You know, I believe like the Shinto that rocks have spirits. And so I want to acknowledge the spirit in this rock today. Great rock, thank you for your presence. May we be blessed by you. May I absorb some of that earth energy through touching you. And may all my YouTubers absorb that energy. And may they have financial blessing through your power and connectivity to the earth. So mode it be. Isn't that wonderful? You see, being connected is a choice we have to make every day. It's not an issue that, oh, someday we'll be spiritually advanced and connected. We're already connected, but we have to bring that into our daily lives. And I think when you get out and walk and you touch the rocks, you touch the trees, you are bringing power and blessing to your own life. You see, I think it's so important. I think, you know, so much of today, we are just in a society where all people think about is how much money do I make? Rather than saying, how is my performance going? You know, Shirley MacLaine, I think, touched on a very deep truth today. Because, you know, when you die, you're going to have a life review. And kind of that life review is about how have you lived. So our life is a performance, and it carries value, and it carries importance. And so we want to really think about how are we living. You see, that's important. You know, Shakespeare said something very similar. He said that all the world is a stage and men and women are merely players. You know, when we think about it, like in terms of life being a play or a performance, in a way it takes pressure off it. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to do the best you can. Get out there, have fun with it. You know, I always found when I did theater that if I had fun with it, I did better performance. You know, it's easy to get worried like, oh, are my lines perfect? Is my makeup perfect? Is the lighting perfect? When really it's about letting the character come to life. And so I always found when I just had fun with it, I did really good performances. And so I bring that to you today because, you know, maybe at some point in your life you're taking things way too seriously. And maybe you just need to lighten up and have fun with your performance. Make it a game. You know, we all get focused on the goal. We have to get something. We have to accomplish something. But really, the truth is, we ultimately accomplish everything in time. But if we're not having fun on the way, I think we're really missing something. So I'm thinking about Shirley MacLaine's words as well as Shakespeare's words today. Anyways, I want to share that with you. You know, what do you guys think about that? Tell me. Tubies, look what I just found. Can you see it up here? A whole family of deer have come up to me. They saw me and they just kind of came out of the woods. There they are. Can you see them? There's a little baby deer. It looks like a mama and papa. Hello, dear. Do you want to talk to Bob? Oh, aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Now, lest you think that this is stock footage put in for dramatic effect, 
Sega Bob is actually here with the deer. And you can see me here with the deer. There they are, right behind me. Do you see them? <laughs> oh, don't be scared. The little one's skittish. Hello, do you want to talk to Bob? They said, oh, we're just hanging out. Isn't that amazing? We got three deer right next to me. This is so cool. Hello, don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, that little one's nervous. Oh, oh look. This one's watching something. <laughs> They're probably gathering acorns. Oh, there he goes. Oh. What a blessing. Now see, I'd have never had that experience had I not got out and walked today. It's pretty special to see the deer. I like that. So you see, the question today is, are we having fun with our performance? Not if we got our lines perfect. We'll never get the lines 100% perfect. But are we having fun? That's what I'm thinking about today. I also want to say thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We did a live stream for Wiccan Wednesday, and we talked about the cross of Caravaca, which I'm wearing. And if you want to learn more about that and you haven't seen it, you need to see yesterday's video. We talked about not only the cross of Caravaca, but we talked about voodoo and the tradition of the cross and mystical religions. So definitely check that out. Well, here I am at Exxon. We got to check the gas prices today. So let's see what's going on up here. Okay. Our regular gas is $2.65 a gallon. Extra is $3.47 and Supreme $3.63. I don't know, it still seems awfully high to me. I'm still back when gas was 89 cents a gallon. I don't think we'll ever see those days again, but boy, it's a great memory. <laughs> Anyways, we're up here at Fox Chase Shopping Center and we're gonna go grab something to eat. So, hang with say goodbye. Well, Tubies, look where I am. I'm here at Hong Kong Express. And I got me some delicious white rice, some sesame chicken, and a crunchy spring roll. And I like to put this yellow mustard on it. Oh, some kind of good Chinese mustard. Mmm, I'm having a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Ooh, I put some yellow mustard on my crispy spring roll. And Sega Bob is living large. Mm -hmm. This is the best. Uh, you know, I usually can eat rice with chopsticks. This rice is not as sticky as it usually is. But there we go. A little bit of rice. <laughs> A little bit more rice. There we go. We're working on it. <laughs> little by little. Well, guys, that was a great, great lunch. I had the best time. This is Hong Kong Express. Isn't that great? I love it. Well, let's go on down here and see what's going on. And okay, we got a warm day still. Not as hot as yesterday. There's our Sun Lord trying to break through the clouds. Thought it was going to storm, but. Looks like it's starting to burn off, so we might have some luck, you know? Yeah. Anyways, I'm just having a little break, you know, before I head back into readings. And uh, I'm so enjoying meeting so many of you. We've had such a good time connecting and seeing what the spirit has for you. And it's been a real treat. I'm really excited about it. You know, as I said, I've been meeting with so many of you and having such a great experience. and. I gotta tell you, next Friday, we're gonna have a special guest on Spirit Channel. It's a wonderful psychic and an artist. Her name is Jessica, Jessica Tuminello. And uh, you guys are gonna get to meet her. Next Friday, we're gonna be having an interview with her. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you guys will be with us, particularly next Friday, when we interview Jessica. Oh guys, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but 
There's our Sun Lord. He's between the clouds. He looks like a white disc. I don't know if I can see it here. Hold on just a second. I set down my Coke. Anyways, our Sun Lord's back there in the clouds. Looks pretty cool. You know, it's so cool that we get to hang out. I'm so glad you guys decided to come along on the adventure. Oh, look, we've got a friend here. Hello, hello. <laughs> You know, wherever I go, I always see animals. You know, animals are drawn to psychic energy, and they love psychics, so, you know. Anyways, this is good to walk along. You know, they still have these mum flowers down here, these chrysanthemums. I love chrysanthemum flowers. I just wish I had enough light in my home to grow them. So I'm not going to buy them because they're really made to be outdoor plants. And, you know, I don't want a plant to suffer, be in my house, and not feel it's getting nourishment and die and wither. No, I don't do that. You know, the Wiccan read says harm none. And that even means plants because plants have a consciousness. Look at these beautiful orange and golden brown ones. Oh, just beautiful. You know, the chrysanthemum is the royal flower of Japan. It's the flower of the emperor of Japan. So pretty high brow flower there. Anyways, guys, I'm just glad you're here. And we're gonna roll on along. Uh-oh, we're outside Dunkin' Donuts. Sin and temptation, mm. but I'm gonna say no. Sega Bob is really working on balancing his diet, trying to cut out a lot of junk food, and I've been eating lighter, and I've lost a little weight, and it feels really good, so I'm gonna keep working on it. I always say I don't believe in diets. I think diets are a form of extremism, just my personal view. I think just living naturally and balancing your diet is the key to it. Don't just give up everything and starve yourself. That doesn't get you anywhere. Anyways. I tell you, it's air is feeling good out here. I'd still like it a little cooler, but I hear it's coming. So, you know, these bushes here, you can see how dry they are. They're already changing color. These trees here are starting to turn color. Oh, there's our sun lord coming out. Look at that, guys. There's our sun lord showing himself, trying to break through. I love it. Well guys, true to form, Psyche Bob forgot to charge his camera. I have a camera, I gotta charge the battery on it, but uh, we're on red, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. But it was good to spend a little time with you on Vlog Thursday, and I hope you'll keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming tomorrow. It's free for all Friday. I'm not sure what we're doing yet, but we'll find something. We'll we'll get it in for you guys. But keep it here at Spirit Channel. Listen, help me out. Like this video, favorite it, and hit subscribe. Join our channel. We would love for you to be with us. We'll see you back here tomorrow on Friday. And until then, may all of you always blessed be.